Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Marie here at Marie Nicole Designs and I have a fun little video for you. This is mostly coloring. I am using the House Mouse Designs Cling Rubber Stamp. This is their stamp, Snuggle Up. So super cute and you can get it through uh, Spellbinders. So I'm gonna be putting links down below if you wanna look at all the things that I'm using. Um, but I'm just gonna walk you through how I'm gonna stamp and color this. So I'm using some black hybrid ink here because the black hybrid ink will not smear if you are using, oh, watercolors or alcohol markers or colored pencils or whatever coloring medium you want to use. I love the black hybrid inks for this because they will stay put. Um, while you are coloring. And I'm also stamping this on some watercolor paper because I'm going to be using some watercolors. Now, I love um, watercolors with brushes, but I also love my Zigs. And these are the Zig Real Brush watercolor markers. And so it's like a brush tip. They have little bristles in there. So you do want to be careful when you are coloring just not to smash the bristles or anything. Um, but you can apply a little bit of color down onto your paper. And then with a water brush or a paintbrush dipped in water, you can take it onto that color and spread it out. And it will act similar to watercolor. Um, I like them though because I can get more of a precise placement on my color and I can blend them together. And these zigs, they just, the color just moves so nicely if you use it on some smooth watercolor paper or Bristol Smooth cardstock. It works really well on those two cardstocks. I've used these zigs with other cardstocks and not great uh, results, but you just have to use them with the right paper and they are beautiful. So there's my cat getting in the in the scene also as I'm coloring, but I'm just adding colors here and there. Now these are two sweet little mice all wrapped up in these leaves here. And I'm using some fall colors for fall leaves as if it's the end of autumn and they are snuggling their way into snow and winter. Um, but I have some really dark browns there on the edges and then I'm just blending it into some reds and then some yellows on the end there. Now for the little mice feet and tail and faces, I'm using a really light peach and pink. Um, and I'm gonna go over them with like an oatmeal brown color too, to give a little bit of shading. One thing I really like about this house mouse stamp is that there is so much detail stamped into it already. Um, and so much shading already that you could simply color this, not worry too much about shading and still get a really nice uh, image when you're done because they've built in some of those light and dark areas already in the image. It makes your coloring job easier, but you can also do some really fun and fantastic coloring with this if you want to go all out and get crazy, but you can also keep it simple and make just a really sweet little card, which is what I'm doing here today. Not going too much crazy on the whole layout of the card or anything. I really want this image to stand out. So I'm just doing some watercolor and I'm just going to mount it on a card base as you'll see at the end. But I'm just working my way through here. I went ahead and I colored the leaves first because I was excited to get some fall colors on there. Fall leaves are my favorite thing ever. And then I'm working my way down to that stump. Now I'm putting some really dark colors here around the feet and around the tail, and then I'm going to blend it out into some lighter colors. Now I don't have the full set of zigs, the full spectrum of colors, so I'm working with what I have. I think I have the set of 36 or so, which works for me. I've been able to make them work with my different coloring. Um, you can blend the different colors, so it really helps when you need a new color. You can just blend a few together. Um, so I'm going from a really dark, dark brown around the mousie's feet, and I'm blending it out to a lighter brown and just making it lighter on the bottom. Now those light color, that light spot down there that I'm coloring right now, I actually use like a really light peach or something. So I'm getting a variation of color and lights and darks just to add a little bit more interest into my tree stump, um, just by using a variety of colors and shades and brightness and darkness and all of that. I'm not an expert colorer. I just go with what I think looks good and it just takes practice. Um, so here is the colored image. I think it's so cute. One thing I didn't show on 
camera, but I did later, is I put a few tiny little specks of gold on those leaves. I just flicked a little bit of gold watercolor on there, um, and you can't really see it very well in the picture, but it's very subtle, but if you turn the actual card in your hand and it catches the light, you can see some flecks of gold there, which is a really nice little touch, I think. Now I wanted to do sort of a light shadow around these little mice in this image, but I like to do that with my actual watercolors and my brushes um, because it's sometimes a little hard to get a really light shadow with the zigs um, and pull that color out. So I'm using some um, watercolor here. It's just like a really light beige. <laughs> And again, my cat likes to walk all over my projects while I'm working, um, so he knocked some stuff in the way, so I had to get him off my desk. But you can kind of see that that shadow around the mice. It's not it's not really um, bold, but it, it's there, and you can see it better in person than on camera. Um, but I really wanted these little mice and those leaves to kind of stand out. Now you get three sentiments with this cling rubber stamp. You get the snuggle is real, sending hugs and miss you. I'm using the sending hugs sentiment and I'm stamping it somewhat on the leaves and off to the side. I thought about um, embossing this in gold or black and I think that would look really nice but because of time and other responsibilities I had to get to I just went ahead and stamped it and I think it looks really cute and really simple and it's just an encouraging image and card that you could send to somebody to brighten their day or if they're going through a hard time. Now I'm putting some foam adhesive on the back of my image. I've cut it down to be smaller than my A2 side card, A2 size card, so I can mount it on my card base and have a really nice matting of that craft brown cardstock. So that is a look at the house mouse snuggle um what is it called? Snuggle up image. I thought it was really cute. Wanted to share a little video with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, comment tap the bell for notifications, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!